Swiss manufacturer Bolliger & Mabillard is the luxury brand of roller coasters. When theme parks contract B&M, they receive a high-quality, ultra-reliable coaster that provides a thrilling experience, and with it, a high price tag. Founded in 1988 by Walter Bolligar and Claude Mabillard, who left Giovanola to start their own company, B&M has built nearly 70 roller coasters in the United States as of 2023. Their portfolio includes iconic roller coaster models like the Invert, Flying, Dive, Wing, Floorless, and Hyper. The stand-up is even making its grand return this year, new and improved, with Pipeline the Surf Coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. However, even luxury roller coasters, like luxury cars, have limited service lives. Over the past six years, some B&M coasters have become defunct. The first B&M coaster to be demolished was Dragon Challenge at Islands of Adventure. Formerly known as Dueling Dragons, this dueling inverted coaster opened in 1999 and was removed in 2017 to make way for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Overseas, other B&M coasters that have been demolished include Lightning, a Batman the Ride clone at Kuwait Entertainment City, and the aptly named Dive Coaster at Chimlong Paradise in China. Lightning closed one year earlier than Dragon Challenge in 2016, but there was hope the park and Lightning would be renovated. It remained standing but not operating for four years, but was demolished in 2020 after Kuwait Entertainment City was bought out. Dive Coaster closed in March 2023, and its fate is uncertain. It opened in 2008 and operated for only 15 years, so it may be relocated elsewhere. But we've also heard that China imposes 20-year life limits on its coasters. So sadly, Dive Coaster may have already joined Dragon Challenge and Lightning in B&M Coaster Heaven. However, some fan-favorite B&M coasters nearing their end of their service lives have received all new tracks instead of being removed. Examples include The Incredible Hulk at Islands of Adventure in 2016, and Nemesis at Alton Towers, which is scheduled to reopen with its new track in 2024. We've also seen parks convert their stand-up roller coasters into floorless coasters. This not only prolongs the coaster's life for a few more years, but makes the ride experience much better and saves on maintenance costs. In this video, we drill down on older Bolliger and Mabillard coasters that are still in operation and predict which ones will not be saved, becoming the next defunct B&M coaster. Since the majority of older B&M coasters are located in the United States, we will only examine B&Ms from the U.S. that are still in operation. And since the only truly defunct B&M coaster in the U.S. opened in 1999, we will only look at B&M coasters built in 1999 and earlier. Let's start off with the No Risk tier, which comprises coasters that we think have a 0% risk of becoming the next defunct B&M. First, we believe that all Batman the Rides across the Six Flags chain are safe, including the original Batman the Ride at Six Flags Great America, built in 1992, as well as its clones at Great Adventure in 1993, Magic Mountain in 1994, Mid-America in 1995, now called Six Flags St. Louis, over Georgia in 1997, and over Texas in 1999. And this includes Goliath, another Batman clone which was originally located at Thrill Valley in Japan and built in 1995. It relocated to Six Flags New Orleans in 2003 before finally landing at Six Flags Fiesta Texas in 2008. And just 15 miles away, SeaWorld San Antonio has a Batman clone named Great White, built in 1997. All Batman the Ride clones are well maintained by both SeaWorld and Six Flags and still operate like new especially at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags Over Georgia. Thus, we don't see any of them being next on the chopping block. The same goes for Busch Gardens' two world-class inverts, Montu at Busch Gardens Tampa, which opened in 1996, and Alpengeist at Busch Gardens Williamsburg a year later in 1997. Montu and Alpengeist are beloved by both coaster enthusiasts and the general public, and are easily the number one and number two inverts in the world. These will not be removed anytime soon. The same can be said about the inverts from the 1990s at Cedar Fair Parks, Raptor at Cedar Point built in 1994, and Afterburn at Carowinds built in 1999. Both are also in the top five of inverts, so the likelihood of either being removed next is almost zero. 
The last B&M invert from the 1990s on our no risk list is Great Bear, built in 1998 at Hershey Park. Though Great Bear is not very popular with enthusiasts, it's still a high capacity crowd pleaser for guests at Hershey Park. Therefore, it's unlikely to be removed anytime soon, as Hershey Park seeks to add more coasters to its incredible lineup and not remove them. Another B&M model that debuted in the 1990s and is still very popular today is their Hypercoaster. B&M's first Hypercoaster, Apollo's Chariot at Busch Gardens Williamsburg opened in 1999. Their second, Raging Bull, also opened in 1999 at Six Flags Great America. Do you see either of these parks removing their B&M Hypercoasters anytime soon? No chance. Which takes us to Medusa at Six Flags Great Adventure, which opened in 1999 as the world's first floorless coaster. Six Flags liked Medusa so much that it was cloned as a mirror image at Magic Mountain in 2003 as Scream. In 2008, Medusa was rethemed and renamed Bizarro, and for the 2022 season, it was reverted back to Medusa with another new color scheme. Six Flags Great Adventure has consistently kept this coaster fresh, which is why it belongs on the no-risk list as well. The last coaster on the no-risk list is the Riddler's Revenge at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It opened in 1998 and has been the best stand-up coaster in the world since its debut. And like Medusa, it received a new color scheme to keep it fresh back in 2017. Although stand-up coasters are more expensive to maintain compared to the other B&M models, we just can't see Six Flags Magic Mountain removing the tallest and fastest one in the world, and the record holder for most inversions. And there's no chance of a floorless conversion since Scream already exists in the same park. And now, the following eight coasters are at risk. We'll start with the oldest, make our way forward to the newest, and assign each coaster a percentage chance of becoming the next defunct B&M. Iron Wolf was B&M's first coaster, a stand-up coaster that opened in 1990 at Six Flags Great America. In 2011, it was relocated to Six Flags America and then converted to a floorless coaster called Firebird in 2019. Despite this, it's still one hell of a rough ride with low ridership so we'll give it a 10% chance of being the next defunct B&M coaster, mainly due to its recent conversion. Vortex at California's Great America opened in 1991 as B&M's second coaster and was also converted from a stand-up coaster to a floorless, operating that way as Patriot since 2017. Patriot also suffers from low ridership even as a floorless, and it may lead to its removal prior to California's Great America's pending closure before 2023. Or it may be relocated as a hand-me-down to another Cedar Fair Park. Michigan's Adventure, you're not it. With its age, we're leaning towards defunct status, so it joins Firebird at having a 10% chance of being the next defunct B&M coaster. Just across from Patriot is B&M's second inverted coaster, Flight Deck, originally named Top Gun. When the park closes down, Flight Deck will join Patriot either being removed entirely or relocated to another Cedar Fair Park, if not beforehand. However, all Cedar Fair Parks besides King's Dominion already have a similar inverted or suspended coaster, so it's unlikely Cedar Fair relocates Flight Deck there since the park directly competes against Busch Gardens Williamsburg, which has Alpengeist. Flight Deck may very well be going down with the ship, pun intended. It joins Firebird and Patriot with a 10% chance of being the next B&M coaster to be permanently removed. Vortex at Carowinds, B&M's third stand-up coaster and the last remaining stand-up coaster in the Cedar Fair chain, is trash and a prime candidate to be converted into a floorless coaster, if not just removed outright. For us, Vortex is a 15% chance of being the next defunct B&M. We don't think anyone would miss it. Although it would become the only floorless coaster in the Mid-Atlantic have converted, Carowinds could also make room for a new coaster similar to Iron Gwazi in terms of size if they were to also remove Nighthawk. Last year, there was a rumor that Kumba, B&M's first sitting coaster, had reached the end of its service life and that it would be removed from Busch Gardens Tampa. However, the park denied the rumor and Kumba remains open. Opened in 1993, it recently celebrated its 30-year anniversary and it's still a very popular ride, loved by many, despite being a little rough. 
It is a true coaster icon and will give Kumba a 5% chance at being the next defunct B&M coaster. It's way more likely that Kumba receives all new track to improve its ride experience, similar to the Incredible Hulk. Next up is Rougarou, which originally opened in 1996 at Cedar Point as Mantis. Although it's been recently converted to a Floridless coaster in 2015, it remains a largely unpopular ride despite its more comfortable ride experience without the stand-up trains. Cedar Point has no problem removing rides with low ridership, which we saw with Wicked Twister. In a park that is landlocked, we think that Rougarou is next. We give it a 15% chance of being the next B&M coaster to be removed. And then there's Rougarou's mirror twin stand-up coaster, Chang, which opened in 1997 at Kentucky Kingdom. It was dismantled when the park closed in 2009, but got relocated to Six Flags Great Adventure in 2011 as Green Lantern. Green Lantern is a severely painful ride full of headbanging and is just downright awful. And it won't be saved by being converted into a floorless coaster either, as Medusa already exists in the same park. We give it a 30% chance at being the next defunct B&M coaster. The last B&M coaster we'll examine is Georgia's Scorcher at Six Flags Over Georgia. It opened in 1999 and was B&M's last stand-up coaster until this year's Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Despite being 24 years old, Georgia's Scorcher still runs pretty well today and is probably the second best B&M stand-up coaster to ever exist after the Riddler's Revenge. We don't see it going anywhere soon. If Six Flags wants to keep it around for even longer, they may convert it into a floorless coaster instead. So with that, Georgia Scorcher joins Kumba in getting only 5% odds. Okay, so that's all the Balligar and Mabalod roller coasters from 1990 to 1999. And here are all of the B&M coasters that we think are most at risk, ranked from the highest odds to the lowest. Green Lantern at Six Flags Great Adventure has the highest chance with 30%. Vortex at Carowinds and Rougarou at Cedar Point are tied for second with 15%. Firebird at Six Flags America, along with Patriot and Flight Deck at California's Great America, round out third, all with 10%. And finally, Kumba at Busch Gardens Tampa and Georgia Scorcher at Six Flags Over Georgia are the least likely at only 5%. We predict that Green Lantern at Six Flags Great Adventure will be the next defunct B&M coaster. It is easily the worst B&M coaster currently in operation and it won't be saved by a conversion to a floorless coaster. We just cannot see how Six Flags keeps it around for much longer. In fact, anything related to Green Lantern should just be permanently laid to rest. To be honest, we'd be happy to see any of the three coasters with 15% or more odds be the next to go. Vortex, Rougarou, and Green Lantern have all overstayed their welcome. While losing more B&M coasters is sad, it's a reality that we must face, likely by the end of this decade. Now, we want to hear from you. Which B&M coaster do you think is the next to be removed? And which B&M coaster nearing the end of its service life should be retracked or converted? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to America's Coaster Network to feed your coaster content hunger. Perhaps check out our Top 10 Coaster series or highly popular The Future of series. We also have vlogs from parks such as Six Flags Magic Mountain and Knott's Berry Farm. Alright, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.